when I should feel so sad? Why does my heart feel so glad? Why does my soul feel so happy and gay? While all around me bends roll, yet I'm not worried at all. That's why I say King Jesus will roll my burdens away, roll away, roll away. Unable to see. That's why I say King Jesus will roll my burdens away, roll away. Just like a king on his throne, I am not worried at all. I have a friend who was beside me, his dead. me to do, keep on believing and be true, for if I pray, King Jesus will roll my burdens away. That's why I say, King Jesus will roll my burdens away, roll away, roll away, roll away, roll away, roll away. King Jesus will roll my burdens away, give to him my prayer, for he opened doors. Unable to see. That's why I say, King Jesus will roll my burdens away, roll away. That's why I say, King Jesus will roll my burdens away, roll away. That's why I say, King Jesus will victory song number 6 or 8 uh, i want us to understand the song so that when we sing this week we understand the song sda hymno number 608 uh, the first the first stanza i want us to go through it so that you understand it it says encamped along the hills of light now this song presents a picture where we are at war there are two sides that are fighting there is one side that belongs to God. And these are the ones, they are called encamped along the hills of light, ye Christian soldiers. Christian soldiers, believers, you are on one side. And it says, press the battle, ah, the night shall veil the glowing skies. The, the, the battle is at night. And it says, against the four, against the enemy who is below in the valley, in veils below, let our strength be held, that let us fight with the strength. And then it says, faith is the victory that we know. 
that if there is any victory we will gain in this fight, in this battle at night, it will come by faith. And it says, it is faith that overcomes what? The world. If there is enemy that we have, if there is any enemy, any enemy that we have, it is the world around us. And for us to overcome the world around us, we need faith. And that's why it says, faith is the victory we know that overcomes the world. And now we will be repeating those words saying that faith is what? is the victory. And we will repeat again saying faith is the victory. It is the glorious, it's the sweet victory that overcomes the world around us. The world around us is sickness. The world around us is failure. The world around us is rejection. The world around us is stress. The world around us is frustration. And faith is the victory that overcomes the world. What do believers say? So to overcome the world around us, the frustration around us, the difficulty around us, what will give us victory? Faith. Faith is the victory that overcomes the world. Then the second stanza says, on every hand, the foe we find. That every direction we turn to, we meet the enemy. And the enemy is drawn up in dread array. That the enemy is prepared to attack, to frustrate in fearful way, in dread array. And he says, let tents of ease be left behind. Because we have such a serious enemy, he says, don't stay comfortable. Don't be satisfied with the situation. Let tents of ease be left behind. And onward to the fray. Let us go on and fight. Salvation's helmet on each head, with the truth all got about. You know, this is what the Bible says about the battle of a Christian, that the helmet is salvation and you are covered with the truth of the word of God. And then it says, the earth shall tremble neath our tread, that the world will tremble as we march, as we march the earth trembles. Then it says, and echo with our what? Our shout and echo with our shout. And what is that shout? It goes back again to the, to the refrain, to the chorus. The shout is, faith is the what? Faith is the victory, all glorious victory that overcomes the world. Then the last one says, to him who overcomes the four, anyone who will succeed in this battle, a white garment will be given, white raiment will be given. And it will not just be given privately in some office, but before the angels, the white raiment will be given, and he shall know. And his name will be confessed in heaven by God. What do believers say? And so it says, then onward from the hills of light where we are fighting, our hearts with love aflame, we will vanquish all the enemies of the night. In whose name? In Jesus' conquering name. And so what does the song say? Faith is the what? Is the victory. Faith is the victory. So that's the song we will be singing. And count along the hills of light, Ye Christian soldiers rise and press the battle all the night shall veil the glowing skies against the foe in veils below. Let all our strength be held. Faith is the victory we know. Hallelujah, that overcomes the world. Then what do we say? Faith is the victory. Faith is the victory. Oh, glorious victory that overcomes the world. Amen. Amen. Let's hear from the word of God this evening, then 
we will go thinking about faith as victory. Father in heaven, let this word be clear and simply understood. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, the, the, the small message I want to share with you this evening is titled, The Problem is the Default Settings. The Problem is the Default Settings. The word default has two possible meanings. That word first has that meaning of where you fail to pay what you owe. You default on the payment. But that's not the meaning we want to think about today. The meaning we want to think about today is the default settings. These are refers to any choice that you have made that affects other choices. It refers to pre-selected option that remains operational until you make another choice. When we talk about default settings, we are referring to pre-selected settings that remain in place until you bring another setting. Let me use phones and computers, for example. Every phone and computer comes with a default setting. It has a background color when you turn it on. But if you don't change that color, it will remain that way. It is a default color. If you don't change the font, it will remain that way. It is a default font. It, font. If you don't change the ringtone, and if you want to know somebody who is very old, their phone still has the same ringtone it was bought with. Are we together? Because they are not sure how to change the default setting of the ringtone. Are we together? So that's a sign of being old or having tendencies of being old. Are we together? Where the default tone is the tone that has remained. But you know that every gadget comes with several tones. And so you only have to change the default settings. What we are saying is that every gadget comes with the default settings. Even the brightness is default. Even the volume is default. And unless you change them to what you prefer, the default settings will remain the same. I'm here to tell you, brothers and sisters, that the problem is the default settings. Brothers and sisters, human beings too have default settings. It's not only computers and phones and other systems and machines. Even human beings have default settings. And it is human beings we will be addressing today. And we are saying the problem is default settings. When God created Adam and Eve, he created them with factory settings. And he came and advised them that, listen guys, be free in this garden. But if you eat the forbidden fruit, your system will be hacked. And the default settings will be changed. And now you cannot die, but when the system changes, you will die. And God told them, don't change those settings. Keep them the way they are. It is ideal and the best. But one day, Eve was taking a walk and she bumped into Satan in the form of a snake. And Satan started having a discussion with Eve about changing the default settings. And Satan said, listen, this thing comes with many options. Why are you hanging around with the same option that came from the factory? You can adjust the color. You can increase the brightness. You can lower the volume. You can do many things. And the serpent said, you eat this fruit that God said don't eat. It is good for you. But God told them, when you eat that fruit, the default settings will change. The Bible says, I want us to read Genesis chapter 3, verse 6 to 19 and observe how the default settings change. The Bible says in verse 6, saw the woman, that is Eve, saw that the 
tree was good for food. She said, I think the other defaults are better than the, the, the ones I was, I was given. And that it was delightful to the eyes. And that the tree was to be desired to make one wise. She took of its fruit and ate. She clicked and changed the settings. And she also gave some to the husband who also thought I can also change my default settings. Verse 7. Then the system changed. Then the eyes of both of them were opened and they knew that they were naked. Earlier on, the system could not detect nakedness. But now, with the change of default settings, people can detect nakedness, and it has become a major subject, nakedness. Why? Because the defaults were changed. And so the problem is not the nakedness, the problem is the default settings. Because the Bible does not say that they changed the way they looked like. The Bible doesn't say that the hips became curved or that the dashboard changed a little bit. No, the Bible says it is the settings that changed. And that's why, brothers and sisters, we can rightfully say that the problem is the default settings. That's where the problem is. And so even if you cover everything in black and cover the face and only remain with the eyes, the problem is still in the default settings. <laughs> Given opportunity O and situation S, with or without the covering, the answer will be the same because the default settings are the problem. And so... Verse 8, the Bible says, And they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. God created them. So they were comfortable with God in the earlier settings. But now in the new settings, when they hear that God is walking around coming to meet them, they hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. The default settings has changed. They are no longer comfortable with God. When they come to the place of worship, they feel it from the back and not from the front. The problem is the default setting. That's where the problem is. Why are people uncomfortable with God? The problem is not God. The problem is not the church. The problem is the default setting. The same people in a movie theater, in a soccer game, will fill the theater room from the front going backwards. The problem is the default settings. The default settings has a problem. It was changed at the beginning. And unless it is changed again, the behavior of the person will remain the same. And so verse 9, the Bible says, But the Lord called to the man and said to him, Where are you? Because it, it was now malfunctioning. Where are you? Verse 10. And he said, Adam responds, I, I, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. And God said, mm, Naked? Because the settings I put in place does not identify naked. Now this one knows naked, number one. And now this one knows hiding, number two. And so God says, verse 11, who told you you are naked? I never put such settings there. Have you changed the default settings? Have you eaten from the tree which I commanded you not to eat? Verse 12, the man said, the woman you gave me was tampering with the settings. <laughs> it's not me, God. I was comfortable on this other side, but she's the one who moved to the settings section and decided to click things around. 
Then the Lord said to the woman, verse 13, what is it that you have done? Why have you changed the setting? The woman said, no, 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 it's not. The serpent deceived me that just click. I didn't even know what I was doing. I was just clicking. <laughs> the, serpent, the serpent deceived me and I ate. Verse 14, the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this and changed the settings of these human beings and the entire world, you are cast above all livestock and above all beasts of the field. And from today, God tells the serpent, the settings that have changed have also affected you. You, you shall go by your belly and you will eat dust all the days of your life. Verse 15. I will put an enmity between you and the woman. There was no enmity earlier, but now the new settings are coming with things. The problem is not the serpent crawling by the belly. The problem is the settings. The problem is not an enmity. The problem is the settings. I will put an enmity between you and the woman and between your offerings and her offspring. He shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel. To the woman he said, I will surely multiply your pain in childbearing. In pain you shall bring forth children. Your desire shall be contrary to your husband, but he shall rule over you. The problem is the default setting. And to Adam he said, because you have listened to the voice of your wife and have eaten of the tree of which I commanded you, you shall not eat. Cursed is the ground because of you. In pain you shall eat of it all the days of your life. The problem is not sweating. The problem is not working hard. The problem is the default settings. Thorns and thistles it shall bring forth for you, and you shall eat the plants of the field. This is all as a result of changed default settings. Verse 19, by the sweat of your face, you shall eat bread till you return to the ground, for out of it you are taken, for you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Death came, not because death is the problem, but the default settings were changed. Brothers and sisters, the problem in our world today are the default settings. Because of sin, we changed the default settings. And the Bible says, because of Adam changing the default settings, all of us have the wrong default settings. Romans chapter 5 verse 12, Therefore, just as sin came into the world through one man, and death through sin, and so death spread to all men because all sinned. All of us are affected by the settings that Adam and Eve changed. Unless we deliberately change the default settings, the end result of our life will remain the same. Because of sin, failure became our default setting. Because of sin, death became our default setting. The problem is the default setting. Unless we do something, unless we change the default settings, the result of anything we do is predictable. Because of default settings, listen to this example. We enjoy sleep when we are supposed to wake up. And we enjoy sleep when there is a serious assignment to be done in the morning. But when we are on a holiday and there is nothing to do the next day, we wake up at 3 a.m. and we have run out of sleep. The problem, the problem, the problem, the problem is the default setting. We are skewed to laziness. 
When the mind knows that tomorrow I have to wake up early to do this and that and the other one, at 5 a.m., sleep becomes the sweetest. And everyone who is reluctant to come to school, they come three weeks later. When exams are finished, they stay in school for two more weeks, just walking around. Why are you not going home? I think I will go tomorrow. I'm still washing my shoes. Why are you not going home? I'm still washing my shirt. Two weeks later, the default settings. But when it comes to coming to school, oh, I will come next week. No, I will come the other week. The problem the default settings. Because of default settings, we can sit up and be entertained by a movie or a game the whole night, but we can't spend the same night studying just one subject that we have to study for. Tomorrow you have a quiz at two, and today by nine o'clock you say, oh, I feel tired. I think I need to rest. The problem the default settings. But if at that moment a friend appears with a movie, you who are tired will sit around that movie up to 4 a.m. Yet you could not sit and read a few pages in preparation of your own exam. The problem is the default settings. That is where the problem is. Brothers and sisters, I'm hoping today to convince you that we have been looking at the wrong place. We need to notice that the problem is with the default settings. Because of default settings, we must be su supervised or else we won't study, we won't do our work. Somebody was asking, why do we supervise pastors when they are training and writing exams on pastoral work? I mean, we are training people to be pastors, and we have given them an exam to write a sermon, for example, write a sermon. That's a, an exam. But the teacher must stand <laughs> without blinking because the problem is what? Default settings of that person in preparation. Those settings can go the wrong way, and you will find them pulling out something and writing. <laughs> the problem is with the default setting. Therefore, brethren, the problem is not God. It is not that God did not call the man or woman to be a pastor. No, God called the person, but the problem is with the default settings. Because of default settings, we can't come to church if we had freedom not to come. Our default setting is to avoid God by all means. Even those who behave like they love God and love the church, the default sweat settings are twitched. Either they fear hell or there is some blessing they are praying for. It is not the love of God. There is something self-centered. Unless the default setting is changed, being here remains a requirement. So some people think they are very creative. They come and say, oh, please just allow us in this university. If you tell us to come freely to church, you will be surprised. We will all fill the place, my friend. <laughs> with, with, with those default settings, with those default settings, even the most religious who was baptized most recently will not appear. Because the problem is with the default what? Settings. The settings are the problem. The problem are not the rules. So the rules are put in place to ensure that our settings don't stray. Because of default settings, we are paranoid, we are self-centered, we are greedy, we are dishonest. Our life is miserable because of the default settings. The coming of sin made failure and death the default setting. Listen, friends, our default setting is failure and death, unless we change it. If you eat healthy foods and do all the crazy things that health experts say, you will still age and die. 
even if you are vegetarian, eating organic food, it has not been planted by this other fertilizer. It is just chicken droppings mixed with the goat <laughs> droppings. That is what is developing your food. You will age and die because the problem, because the problem is what? Is the default settings. And that's why Jesus had to come and die to set us free from our default settings. And that's why Jesus must come the second time to take us to heaven where we will have new settings that don't die and don't age. The problem is default settings. You need to understand these things. You go around jogging the whole day, you will still die after jogging. So the problem is not your need or lack of exercise. The problem is with the default settings. We need to understand what sin has done in our world. We need to understand the damage that sin has caused. And so why must we eat healthy foods? Because of the default what? Settings. It's because of the default settings that we must eat healthy food. Or else I assure you, when we get to heaven, we can have a plate of poison and we won't die. We will just be taking poison. <laughs> Why? Why won't we die in heaven when we are scooping poison and eating? Because the default settings will have been changed. Hallelujah. And that's why I wish just to make it clear today that the problem is with the default settings. Regardless of what you do, unless you change the default settings, you fail. Even when you succeed without changing the default settings, the success is short-lived because the system goes back to the default settings. Brothers and sisters, the problem is what? The default settings. And so the problem is not the poison in tobacco, in cannabis, marijuana, or in other narcotics, the problem is our default settings can't handle it. It is God who created tobacco. It is God who created marijuana. Are we together? Yeah. It's God who created. But we changed the default settings, and now these things are no longer good for us. And so while we can parade and speak to people about how poisonous tobacco is, oh, tobacco has nicotine, tobacco has what? Listen, those things are very important, but you need to understand that the original problem is with the default what? Settings. The problem is not sugar and cooking fat. <laughs> the problem is that our default settings add weight when we use those things. Are we together? So the sugar has no problem. Even the fat, you can actually be eating sugar for breakfast and take cooking oil for lunch. Are we together? <laughs> but the problem is with the default settings. You will add unnecessary weight. You will look funny. You won't understand yourself. The problem is not anything in the fat or anything in the sugar. The problem is the default settings that sin have put in place. Listen, friends, the problem is not even the miniskirt. No. The problem is the default settings of the one wearing and the one seeing. Both of them have bad default settings. So the one wearing began with the bad default settings, so she wore. Then the other one, with poor default settings, instead of looking elsewhere, is now glued there. <laughs> now, the problem is what? I can't hear you. What is the problem? It's the default settings. And so because people have problematic default settings, we now have to control how we dress. Are we together? Because you don't know how defaultful is the other person. Are we together? Their default may take them too far and you find yourself in a situation you didn't expect. Because the problem is the default what? Settings. The problem is not the attitude of your roommates or your neighbors or the attitude of the teacher or the attitude of the student. The problem is the default setting in the two parties. 
The problem is not microbiology. The problem is not mathematics. The problem is the default setting of those in that class. I'm here to tell you today, friends, that the problem is what? Is the default setting. But brethren, allow me to pause here and say that when Jesus died on the cross, he made it possible for us to change the default settings. Ah, did you really understand? That when Jesus died on the cross, he made it possible for us to once again change the default setting. What does the church say? Amen. Now, the default setting that has been problematic is no longer problem problematic. I want you to know that deep default settings can be problematic. If your computer is set to writing in red, even if you write and type hard, the letters will just appear in red until you change the settings. And this is what Paul the Apostle discovered in Romans chapter 7, verse 15 to 20. He says, every time I want to do something good, I end up doing something wrong because of the default settings. I wake up determined that this semester I will focus. This semester I will study hard. This semester I will avoid bad friends. This semester and so far you have done none of the above. <laughs> the problem is with the default settings. And unless you change the default settings... You will remain swearing. Some of you came from high school where you narrowly passed to make it here. And you know if you don't do things well, things will go wrong the way it went in high school. But so far up to today, you are on the same path you are using in high school. The problem is the default setting. So I've come to tell you, brethren, since Jesus can resolve our default setting problem, we need Jesus. I said we need Jesus. Amen. I said we need Jesus. Amen. And our relationship with Jesus is by faith. Our relationship with Jesus is by faith. Amen. And that's why we say faith is the victory. May the Lord bless you so much. Amen. Let's pray. Father in heaven, the default settings have made our life miserable. But we thank God for Jesus Christ because today through Jesus we can change the default settings. We pray that during this week of spiritual emphasis you will give us faith and courage to change the default settings. And we pray, dear Heavenly Father, that we will begin a process of better settings in our lives. May this truth become clearer to all of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.